welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today we're going to look at um, seven facts about Julie Adams, who played Nurse Mary uh, for just a short while. Um, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. I ask you to please share these on Facebook. I ask you to please go back to yesterday's video and watch it. It was pretty good, pretty interesting. Um, but, as I said, today's is on Julie Adams. So, here we go. Uh, she was billed under three different names. Born Betty Mae Adams. She started her career under the real name. As you see her with uh, Betty Adams building on the poster for the 1950s Crooked River. Uh, the movie studio then forced a new stage name upon her, Julia Adams. Uh, indeed, this is how she was built in Creatures from the Black Lagoon. However, Adams was not a fan of the name Julia. She asked for it to be changed to Julie. The studio obliged. She was on TV for 60 years. Betty Adams made her debut in 1949 in the early television program Your Showtime an anthology series that adapted works of literature. Six decades later, in 2007, you could spot her in an episode of CSI, NY uh, Boo. It's a nifty role for the end of her career, as the mystery utilizes photos of her from decades earlier. She played Perry Mason's only convicted client. Yes, Perry sometimes lost, very rarely, just a few times, in fact, in the case of The Deadly Verdict, Adams played Janice Barton, Mason's only convicted client during the show's nine seasons. And nobody's perfect. Uh, she played opposite Jimmy Stewart, decades apart in the only true Jimmy Stewart production. In 1952, Adams, as Julia, landed a big breakout role in Bend of the River, a now heralded western, the classic was underrated at the time. Starred Hollywood legend Jimmy Stewart. Well, he was billed, as per usual, as James. Two decades later, the pair reunited for Jimmy Stewart Show, a sitcom about an anthropology professor. Yep, Jimmy Stewart had his own sitcom, briefly. Uh, it, was only, uh, it was the only film or television role in which Stewart allowed himself to be billed as Jimmy. Um, Adams played his wife. She secretly appeared in another 3D movie with her Creature co-star. Creatures of the Black Lagoon turned Adams into a true screen queen and horror icon in 1954. The film famous, famously was released in 3D. It also co-starred Richard Denning. Here's a kooky fact. Go back a year prior, Denning appeared in a 3D film noir called The Glass Web. Adams was technically not in that 1953 movie, only she was. A framed photograph of Adams hangs on the wall in Denning's office. She was the only actress to date Sheriff Andy, Hoss, The Rifleman, and Maverick. No other actress can claim to have romanced all those characters on screen. Now that's a feather in your cap, right? Her swimming double was a mermaid. Not a real mermaid, but uh, Ginger Stanley, the stunt double who performed the underwater bits and creature from the Black Lagoon, worked as a mermaid at the famed uh, Wiki Wacky Springs amusement attraction in Florida. Unlike Adams, Stanley also worked on Revenge of the Creature in 1955, although she went uncredited again. And, folks, that's all I got for you today. I did want to let you know, in case you do not know, uh, the app... Uh, the television app on your smart TV or on your Roku or on your Fire Stick, Pluto. Andy Griffith Show has its own channel. It's Andy Griffith Show 24-7 over there. And it goes from first from the first episode to the last uh, in a cycle. So, it, you know, it, uh, it's, it's live, so you can't pick and choose. But uh, it's really neat. I've been watching a lot of it lately. So... Pluto TV. Look that up and, and, and get it. It's free. And uh, enjoy some Andy 24-7. Have a great day. We'll catch you tomorrow. Don't forget the trivia uh, question on the page. 
And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And please share these when you get back on Facebook. Appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless. Thank you.